Stars are right, and that means it's time for another episode of The Whisper in Darkness. I'm your host, The Man from Lang. Thank you very much for joining me today. Welcome to the stream, everyone. We are uh, resuming our campaign with uh, Ashcan Pete. And uh, with, through the Return to the Dunwich Legacy, before I get started, I'd like to uh, thank the patrons of the channel for their uh, tremendous support. I'd also like to thank everyone who tuned in for the... Uh, the uh, anniversary stream last week. Thank you very much for all the uh, the subscriptions to Twitch. It uh, helped out a great deal. We uh, managed to pass the uh, the 50 mark, which is uh, the big one for uh, for getting uh, affiliate status. So, thank you very much, everyone. Hello, Juicy. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. And uh, so thanks to the, uh, the patrons who keep the lights on here on the Plateau of Lang, as well as everyone who tuned in uh, last week. It was fantastic. We are uh, continuing our campaign through the Return to the Dunwich Legacy with Ash Can Pete and, of course, Duke. Uh, here is the deck that we are playing. This is uh, based on uh, Put the Dog in the Corner by Aram Horror over on uh, Arkham DB. And... Uh, uh, it is a taboo-friendly deck. Uh, the original deck included Drawing Thin, which is now on the taboo list. So uh, we removed that and one copy of Rabbit's Foot in order to add uh, three copies of uh, Glimmer of Hope, and uh, which I was looking forward to testing, but uh, it hasn't uh, made much of an impact so far. So that's a little uh, disappointing. Perhaps it will uh, make a better showing in... Uh, in when we play uh, Return to the Miskatonic Museum. The uh, only change to this deck, we earned a bunch of experience points playing extracurricular activity and uh, Return to the House Always Wins last week. So we uh, picked up a copy of Scrapper. Uh, that is the pretty much the key card uh, that you need to pick up for this deck. And then uh, after that, everything is uh, pretty much gravy. So. We'll have uh, some options to pick up other cards as we uh, as we go along, but uh, for now we're sticking with Scrapper, and uh, we'll see how it does. We are set up and ready to go in Octagon. Hello, everyone. Glad you could make it today. We uh, have... Uh, I had to check the... Uh, hi, uh, Robert. Glad you could make it. Uh, I had to check the uh, setup instructions because it's been a long time since I uh, set up this uh, particular scenario. But, uh, um, yeah, so here we are. We've got Ashcan, Pete, and Duke with their, uh, their weakness in dead, which is very appropriate. Uh, so he's starting with two fewer resources. We also have uh, our copy of Scrapper here. Uh, we start at the uh, museum entrance, which is a three-shroud location with two clues. We will want to make our way into the museum halls, grab some clues at the uh, administration office and the uh, security office, and then start ex uh, examining the exhibit halls. Uh, there are two additional exhibit halls added to the deck this time around. Uh, that uh, for, there are six, and then you add two, and then, of course, you remove the restricted hall and uh, two others. So uh, who knows whether we'll uh, encounter the two, uh, one or both of the new uh, exhibit hall locations that have been added to the deck. The only other uh, f big change to this scenario is that... Uh, for the duration of it, uh, while an investigator is resolving the text on Agenda 1B and Agenda 2B, the forced ability on the following agenda in the agenda deck is considered to be active. So that uh, prevents you from uh, um, sort of cheesing the hunting horror. Because you'll remember, uh, we'll flip over 1B here. It says uh, if the hunting horror is in... Play at a doom. If it is not in play, search the encounter deck, discard pile, and void for the hunting horror. But uh, you don't uh, have to add the uh, shadow spawn to it, and I believe that uh, changes with this. So uh, when whenever the hunting horror enters play, you will have to add the, the shadow spawn to it, and then add uh, a resource to it if Excuse me, if it is already attached. 
Uh, Juicy asks, is the scenario is the first ever Mythos pack to the game? Do you feel that the scenario is sound? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I still enjoy this scenario. I, I feel like the... I'm, I'll be curious to play this with, uh, with the upgraded rule because uh, a lot of times when I played this before... The uh, shadow spawn never made it into play. If you're if you're quick enough, you can uh, you can beat this scenario pretty quickly, and the uh, hunting horde doesn't uh, play much of a role. Uh, I thought they would they might buff the hunting horror a little bit and give him a little more teeth uh, in the return to, but uh, he is the same uh, as the as the original. So. We shall see. It will be uh, interesting. I don't know what the two... I haven't uh, read what the two new locations do, so that uh, may also change the uh, change it uh, significantly. Hello, John. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. And so, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see between the addition of that rule to make the hunting horror uh, add shadow spawn to it and uh, the new locations. We'll see how things go. We are ready to uh, draw our opening hand, so we'll shuffle things up. Hi, Benjamin. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I, you were playing it as though the text was active and didn't realize it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, that would be a, a pretty easy mistake to make. It seems like it's uh, something that would be obvious that that you would have to add shadow spawn, but. Uh, no, I was. That was one of the things that uh, caught me. Uh, that sort of uh, caught my interest as well when I was playing it the first few times was that Shadow Spawn doesn't uh, doesn't enter play that uh, that early. And if you can if you can keep the hunting horror under control, then. Uh... Hello, Matsutori Taka. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. We are ready to draw our opening hand here. Let's see how we do. We have uh, five cards. And so we have a cherished keepsake, a leather coat, fight or flight, deny existence, and winging it. Not a big fan of uh, any of those cards. So we will mulligan the whole hand. Hi, Tim. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. So we get track shoes, that will be very nice in this scenario. Warren Rice, uh, last chance, a resourceful, and a lucky. So I think track shoes is going to be huge. That will uh, really help us out in this uh, particular scenario, being able to move around between those, uh, those locations quickly and dodge the... Uh, dodge the hunting horror if necessary. Now I believe the allies in this will take out Professor Warren Rice, so I'm not too sure he will see play uh, because we don't want to lose this. We'll probably end up going the investigation route. And we don't want to lose the security guard because then we'll have to add a tablet to the bag, I believe. So let's grab our uh, our actions and uh, let's see how we do here so first action I think we play the uh, now this we don't gain resources which is not a huge deal for uh, for Ashcan Pete but I would like to get the uh, the track shoes online so we will play that for sure uh, let's do some investigating we will exhaust Duke and uh, use, so we're going to go four versus three. I think we will, hello, Halo998, welcome to the stream. We uh, just got started with uh, Return to the Miskatonic Museum. I think I'm going to commit War and Rice to this. We've got... Uh, It'll be a f uh, four, five, six versus three. Chaos bag says minus two, so we uh, do succeed. And grab ourselves our first clue. 
Uh, as someone reminded me uh, in the comments uh, during the last stream that uh, we can use Ash Can Pete's ability to ready an asset to uh, ready the track shoes as well. So that may uh, that may come in uh, handy at some point uh, during this scenario. Uh, I guess we will come. Uh, we want to pitch something to ready Duke. I guess we'll throw the resourceful and we will investigate again. I'm going to commit the last chance so we're going to go that's going to be 4 8 so 8 versus 3 chaos bag gives us a minus 1 so we uh, we grab both clues. So we are ready to uh, to commence. Uh, we can spend two clues to advance so we might as well do that now. Uh, we will flip this over. If we spent clues to advance, choose an investigator to take control of the set-aside Adam Lynch asset. Reveal the museum halls and advance to two a night at the museum. So I will go get our friend Adam. He is over here. And... Oh, he doesn't uh, knock out the, the ally. I thought he did for some reason. Ah, that's okay. We have Duke. Duke's the man. Yeah, Juicy, I'm hoping the uh, the curse of the auto fail has been uh, has been uh, eliminated as well. Uh, some very rough games uh, in the last few few the last few scenarios I played it's been very very rough. So we're going to night at the museum. Uh, so that is that one there. So, night at the museum. Uh, if an investigator enters the restricted hall, advance. So, yeah, pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, that will do it for our turn. We will not be gaining any resources, so I'll lock, um, lock uh, Ashcan up. And we draw another copy of Last Chance. Uh, and that will be our uh, that will be our first uh, first turn. So we are going on to uh, turn number two. We add a doom and our first encounter card is going to be Haunting Recolle Recollections. For each card in your hand, if there is a copy of that card in your discard pile, take one horror to a maximum of three horror. If you take no horror from this effect, discard the top three cards of your deck. Well, we do have a last chance in our hand, and so we will be taking one horror. Uh, I think we... Let's uh, dump this on Duke, just for... Uh, Juicy says, I'm starting a new two-handed return to the Dunwich Legacy play. Kluver, Moneybags, Jenny, and own created... Oh, and your own created custom investigator, Clown Benny Wise. Cool. Yeah, I, I don't get a chance to play with the... Uh, the cu there are so many custom investigators out there, and I'm planning to make a Man from Ling investigator myself, so it's... Uh, you don't get to... I don't get to play with the custom ones. But uh, I know there are tons of out there. Uh, yes, Halo nine nine eight. We did get the three winners from the uh, from the Steam. I believe they were uh, David McAndrew won the the playmat. Uh, Peter won the Circle Undone box, and uh, I believe it was Fernando won the uh, Point of No Return uh, uh, box or the uh, expansion. So, yeah, if you uh, haven't been notified, unfortunately, you uh, you didn't win. But there'll be uh, more... Uh, there will be more giveaways. Uh, we are going to have, uh, of course, the Innsmouth Conspiracy will be coming up here uh, in a few months, so I will be giving away a couple copies of, of that as well. Ashcan, hi, Matthew. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Uh, so we are ready to move on. 
So the museum halls is, uh, we can spend a clue as a group to advance or to place a, uh, put the top, excuse me, top card of the exhibit deck into play unrevealed. So I guess we'll use our first action to move to the uh, museum halls. We will use our, and then I think we will use uh, the, uh, we will use the track shoes uh, to uh, move again. So we will go four versus three. Uh, I think I'm gonna go security office. Chaos bag gives us a skull. That is a minus one. So we do uh, succeed. So we get to move again for free. Yeah, the action advantage you can generate between Duke and the track shoes is, uh, is huge. So we uh, get to the uh, security office. It's a three shroud location with two clues and we can take two actions to look at the revealed side of an exhibit hall in play or the top card of the exhibit deck limit once per turn. I don't think I've ever used that ability. Um, it might, uh, I think it probably comes in handy in multiplayer more than solo because I just tend to go fast and uh, discover things as quickly as I can. Let's do another uh, investigate here. Uh, we will gain... I guess we could have done it with Duke, but uh, yeah, we... Uh, so we get a plus one, so we gain a clue. Now, do I pitch something? It's two versus three. Um, I guess we'll pitch the lucky and ready Duke and do it again and commit a last chance. And so we're going nine. Nine versus three. Chaos Bag gives us two plus ones in a row. Wow. Thanks, Chaos Bag. And uh, that will uh, that will do it for uh, that will do it for this turn. Uh, what does Adam do? Uh, oh yeah, he makes the security uh, action security office action just a one uh, one action. So that is our turn. We grab the two clues at the security office. We'll be ready to start grabbing uh, restricted hall locations here. We get a glimmer of hope. Uh, that will be helpful. We can pitch that to Ready Duke next turn. And we go to the next uh, Mythos phase. Our encounter card is going to be Cursed Luck. So we will be getting... Uh, what is the hotkey? It is uh, Control S is the hotkey for revealing a, a token in Octagon. So we get Cursed Luck. Skill value is minus one. If we succeed by one or more, we discard the Cursed Luck. So uh, we've got. So far, we've seen one of the new cards and uh, one of the uh, one of the old cards. So let's move back to the museum halls. We can spend one clue as a group to put out a uh, one of our the first exhibit hall location, and I think we will use Duke uh, to go there and investigate. It is the Egyptian exhibit three shroud location with two clues after you fail a skill test while investigating this location lose an action well that's okay we uh, have no actions left uh four versus three i don't really want to keep that cursed luck in play so let's commit the glimmer of hope so we can go uh five versus three Chaos Bag says auto fail on that one. So there's our first tentacle of the game. Of course, we failed a skill test, but that doesn't matter. We had no actions remaining anyway. 
So we grab a uh, cherished keepsake during the uh, during the upkeep phase, and we will uh, keep on moving here. So we head into the next uh, mythos phase, turn four. We draw oppressive mists. This is a, a new one. Attached to your location, limit one per location. After an investigator at this location draws one or more cards, that investigator must test willpower three. If that investigator fails, he or she must choose and discard an equal number of cards. Take two actions to discard oppressive mists. All right. It's a, a different take on, uh, on uh, obscuring fog. So... Now I believe that triggers during the upkeep after you draw one or more cards. So we need to we want to grab these clues and uh, get out of here. So our first action will be to use Duke. Uh, we're really suffering because we don't have the arcane studies out. Uh, so we're going three versus three. Hmm. Maybe it's not the maybe it's not ideal to investigate here because we're going three versus three. Uh, let's we'll move back. We will spend our other clue. Let's see if we can't get a better location to work with here. So we'll grab this one and we will duke in see how we do on this one uh, it is the Athabascan exhibit one shroud location zero clues after you enter this location lose all of your remaining actions and immediately end your turn while you were at this location you get plus two agility so we pulled the the bad one that we didn't want to see but uh, we uh, but we have no clues left so uh, if we want to go back and get those clues at the exhibit hall, that's going to be tricky to do without uh, any of our uh, special, uh, without a, an arcane insight or a magnifying glass or something. We pick up a resourceful. Now that could be helpful if we can exchange it for, uh, for the um, last chance. That would be uh, okay. And, hi Troy, welcome to the stream, glad you could make it. And we will gain our actions back. We are at 4 of 5 Doom. And our encounter card is Inexplicable Cold. We're drawing all the, uh, all the new cards here. Revelation, test for agility. For each point you fail by, you must either choose and discard one card from your play area or one card or from your hand or take a damage. Well, this is a good place to draw it since we get plus two agility. So we are at six versus four. Uh, do we have anything in the... Uh, Uh, lucky might be helpful or the last chance that we could uh... hi Kaon Quietus this is uh, Return to the Miskatonic Museum uh, this was the first Mythos pack ever released for the game uh, the, um, the original Miskatonic Museum uh, so if I go 6-4, if I commit resourceful, that gets me 7-4, and it gets me a card back. Uh, which I could use to grab a clue at the Egyptian Hall. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, we want to try to succeed so we can get out from under this. So uh, we are actually five. Uh, sorry, we went. Uh, we we're four, five, six. We're five, six minus one, five versus four. 
All right, chaos bag says we get a minus two. So that is a failure. It would normally succeed, but the cursed luck uh, comes back to bite us here. Uh, or... No, wait a sec. We were at four, five, six, seven. Minus three is four. No, we're fine. Um, yeah, we succeed. Sorry, I'm getting uh, mixed up here. We were at seven and we succeeded, so I will take a last chance back. And we pass the inexplicable cold. But we do not get rid of the... Uh... Thank you, uh, Kaon. We will, uh, we will endeavor to do our best. We will, uh, let's move. I guess we can move back to the museum halls. Let's duke into now. If we duke into the exhibit, this hall, we can probably grab that clue. Uh, or we could go to the admin office. Let's go to the admin office. Um, so we will duke into the admin office. It's a two shroud location with two clues. Uh, you cannot investigate admin office while you have four or fewer cards in your hand. Ah, shoot. Um, well, that sucks. That is not uh, good for for Ashcan at all. Four or fewer, so we need five. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Let's move back to the uh, museum halls. We'll try to use the. Uh, uh, we will try to use the track shoes to get in there. So four versus three. Chaos bag says tablet. That's a minus two. And it's a return one of your clues to your current location. We have no clues, uh, and we are minus one anyway, so that uh, didn't uh, succeed. Yeah, that curse luck is really hurting us at the moment. So we're staying put. Uh, we draw an overpower. That, uh, well, we're going to have to deal with the... Uh, we're going to have to deal with the uh, hunting horror here. So we are advancing. We hit uh, agenda 1B. So if the hunting horror is in play, add a doom to it. If it is not in play, search the encounter deck for it and, uh, uh, and spawn it at the museum halls. All right, where was he? There he is. So he spawns with us, and because this text is active, uh, we have to uh, also attach the shadow spawn to it. Now, shadow spawn, uh, hunting horror gets plus one fight, plus one health, and plus one evade for each resource on the shadow spawn. Uh, but we don't uh, have to add anything to it yet because it just entered play. Okay, well, we're drawing an encounter card, which is going to be passage into the veil, test three willpower, test is plus two difficulty if the hunting horror is at your location. So we are at a three versus five right now. If you fail, you must either 
Discard the top five cards of your deck or take one direct damage and deal one damage to each of your allies. Well, that would kill poor, poor, uh, poor Adam here, and we'd be adding a tablet to the uh, chaos bag right away. But five versus four, that is, uh, or sorry, five versus three is uh, not good. So I think we're discarding cards. Uh, so we draw a minus one. So yeah, we're going to lose five cards off the top of our deck. Fighter Flight, Arcane Studies, Magnifying Glass, Glimmer of Hope, and Fighter Flight. So that was pretty painful. We lost an Arcane Studies and a Mag Glass. All right, well, we've got the uh, Hunting Horror to deal with. And... Um, we need some clues to keep on trucking here and we need to get rid of this cursed luck so I think what we do we're we would be going three versus two to evade the hunting horror so let's do that I'm gonna save the last chance for the investigate Three versus two, Chaos Bag gives us a tablet. That is a minus two. Let's try it again. We get a minus four that time, wow. Um, so at this point, the best we can do is just evade it. Uh, oh man, I don't wanna commit that last chance because that's really our only way to investigate with any sort of... I guess we'll go three versus two again. We'll probably end up... That is a minus three, and if you fail, discard an asset you control. Okay, we just lost the track shoes. So that's not good either. And then we are going to take a damage and a horror during the mythos phase, or during the enemy phase. So a pretty disastrous turn there. That cursed luck is just uh, really hammering us at the moment. Uh, we were doing pretty well, and then we uh, we just got stalled at the exhibit hall at this uh, exhibit hall, and we just haven't been able to. Uh, to get any more momentum going. So we draw a glimmer of hope during the mythos, or sorry, during the upkeep phase. Why am I getting my phases all mixed up here? Uh, glimmer of hope during the upkeep. Uh, so I guess we could try to, f I don't really wanna fight this thing because then we're just gonna get bigger and harder to uh, deal with. So let's go to the mythos phase. One of seven doom, and we draw. Stocked in the dark, if the hunting horror is in play, it readies, engages you, and attacks each investigator at your location. So we take another attack. Uh, we are getting uh, beaten up here. Well. Well, this time we're gonna use our scrapper like we should have used it last turn. So we are going three versus two. We'll go four versus two, five versus two, six versus two to evade the hunting horror. We get a minus three. So that gets us to three versus two. So we get rid of the cursed luck and we evade the hunting horror. Uh, so that's a good start. Um, let's duke in to the Egyptian or the uh, yeah the Egyptian exhibit. Uh, 
uh, so we are going four versus three. We can go five versus three for a clue. Chaos bag gives us a tablet. That's a minus two and return one of our clues, but we didn't have any. So we grab a clue there. And how many glimmers do we have in our discard pile? We have all three, so if we take an action, we get three glimmers back. Uh, let's commit, let's, I uh, don't think I'm gonna use, I'm not gonna kill the uh, hunting whore, I don't think. Well, let's cherish keepsake and then to ready Duke and then we will last chance to grab this other clue. So we are going four and eight. Chaos bag gives us a minus one from a skull. So we grab both clues. Okay, now we've got some special stuff to do. At the start of the enemy phase, we have to draw a token. So let's see what that is. We get another skull, so that means the uh, hunting horror is going to uh, ready and come after us. So we're going to take another damage in a horror. Yeah, we are getting very beat up here. Um, then we're going to draw a card and we're going to have to test three willpower. Okay, so we draw a deny existence. Okay, well I guess we can throw, we can um, deny existence though would Deny existence would help us, would ba basically nullifies beyond the veil. So we would want to keep that if we can at all possible. So we're going four versus three for these oppressive mists. We get a minus one, so we're fine. And we go to the next uh, mythos phase. So two of seven, it's turn eight. Let's uh, grab a card. It is going to be Visions of Futures Past. Test five willpower for each point you fail by. Discard the top card of your deck. We are going four versus five. Chaos Bag says Tablet. Oh, shoot. So we have to return a clue. And we lose three cards off the top of our deck. Take Heart, Arcane Studies, and Lucky. So a very another very bad uh, turn there. For us, let's try to evade the Hunting Horror. We're going four versus two. Let's go five versus two with Scrapper. Chaos Bag says Tablet. What is going on with the tablets today? Whole, so I lost all my clues. What a pain in the ass that is. So I draw two tablets in a row and drop both my clues, setting back all the, all the work I did last turn. Wow. That's terrible. So I guess we'll duke to go four versus three again. And Chaos Bag says zero, so we grab a clue. Um, he's here. I think we move out of there. 
We go to the enemy phase. We draw a token. Draw minus one. So the uh, hunting horror is not coming after us this time, thank goodness. We pick up a live and learn for our card. And we go to the next upkeep, or we go to the next mythos phase. So three of seven, we draw a Knight Beyond Void. Place one resource on Shadow Spawn, even if it is out of play. Oh, wow. Okay, so now the Hunting Horror just got a little bit bigger. Plus one fight, plus one health, and plus one evade. Uh, actually, we are only a three versus uh, a three versus uh, two. I think I needed to spend one more resource on that. Actually, we'll forget about that. I'm screwing up here, I think. But uh, anyway, so that gains a resource. So now he's a three of aid. And we are only a 3 of 8 because I've lost the track shoes. But we have Scrapper still to keep us in the game. Alright, well, let's... Uh, and that's a victory point. Well, not a victory point, but it goes to the victory display. So we don't have to worry about that one again if we uh, reshuffle. Let's spend a clue to grab an exhibit hall. Whoops, and then we'll duke in to get this exhibit hall. So three shroud location, one clue. This is the medieval exhibit. Uh, this is one of the new ones, I believe. After you fail a skill test while investigating this location, take a damage. Uh, okay. So, we are going four versus three. The Chaos Bag has not been kind to us. Well, I could go five versus three with the Live and Learn. Uh, what is our... Skulls are minus one. Cultists are minus one. Those are minus two. That's a minus three. I'm going to commit the live and learn. We're going to go five versus three. Chaos bag says, oh, and I draw the one token I can't draw. So I draw a minus three. And if you fail, discard an asset you control, which would be Adam Lynch. And so that, yeah, this is just not going well for us, this, uh, this playthrough here. So we discard Adam Lynch, and we have to uh, remove him from the game and add a uh, token to the bag. So uh, pretty much the worst of all worlds here. We are just not getting, uh, not getting the draws we need. Uh, I thought five versus three should be good, but of course we draw a uh, we draw that minus three. So uh, Adam Lynch is gone, and we have another uh, tablet to worry about. So that's uh, bad. So we have one action remaining, uh, and we take a damage. Forgot that too. So we take a damage as well. Yeah, this is uh, just not going very well at all. Um, at this point, I'm almost tempted to cut our losses and just leave. But uh, we do have a little bit of health and sanity left. So as long as we can get out... Hi, Voland. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Uh, yeah, how do I... I 
can't really I think part of the problem I mean the big problem here is is that we have the shroud on these locations is threes and we are a four which is not enough but we don't have either uh, magnifying glass or arcane studies to uh, to help us and they're both arcane studies are in the discard pile so all we have is a magnifying glass um, I have one action left I think I'm just gonna draw a card because I just don't have there's a rabbit's foot We are failing a lot of tests, but, uh... oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I could have drawn three Glimmer of Hopes. That would have been a better play. We'll save that for next turn if we're, if we're stuck here. Uh, so the Hunting Horror moves. He's up here now. We get a Leather Coat. Gives us a bit of damage to soak. Four of seven doom, and we draw a, another inexplicable cold. Test four agility. For each point you fail by, you must either choose and discard one card from your play area or your hand or take a damage. Uh, so we are going to go three versus four. Uh, we get a minus two, so we are at one versus four. So we have to discard three cards or take three and or take three damage. One, two, three. Uh, Juicy, will I be playing Essex County? Yeah, I think I probably will, depending on how much time is uh, is left over. I don't think this scenario is going to take that. Uh... Yeah, I'm I'm holding on to deny because Beyond the Veil is a thing. I'm not too worried about the cards. It's the deny would kill me outright, and I'm getting kind of low. Or sorry, uh, beyond the veil would kill me outright. Um. All right. So we need. We need this clue. So let's take an action to grab all the glimmers. Uh, so now we can grab Problem is we're gonna get attacked again. But we need this clue. So we will duke, we will go four, five, six versus three. Chaos bag says cultist that is a minus one so finally we get a little bit of luck on our side and we grab a clue now we cannot deal with the yeah I, I remember beyond the veil exists because it's killed me in this scenario in the past so uh, I've got nine cards left Hi, Leander. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Uh, so what do we do here? 
we're going to take an attack either way. So let's just move in with him and let him hit us. Uh, so we're going to take one and Duke will take one. We are, uh, did I spend a resource to play? Uh, no, I don't need to spend a resource to play Glimmer. Am I missing something? Because Glimmer is committed. So I just get the two uh, the two wild icons. Uh, so he attacked us. And we draw Madame Labranche. Okay, well that's very helpful. Uh, that would give us a bit of uh, a bit more uh, horror and uh, soak. How many locations do we have? Well, we're at the three exhibit hall locations left. So if we could grab. You spend one to retrieve. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, I've spent it now. Sorry, I totally missed that. Okay, so we've grabbed Madame Labranche. We go to the Mythos phase, and we get stalked in the dark again. Oh, man, we are just getting punched. Uh, he readies attacks us again. Hi, witch.com. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Jen. Welcome to the stream. So we get attacked again. I think it's time to leave. Uh, we can deny existence. Uh, the horror or the damage. So let's do the damage. So we have one horror left. We've got one on Duke. Wow. We have been attacked and attacked and attacked repeatedly here. All right. Well, I think it's time to go. We uh, will not be able to get to the restricted hall this uh, this time. I just did. Uh, we have three locations left in the restricted in the exhibit hall deck, and we are basically hanging by a thread in terms of uh, sanity and uh, horror. We have one clue. Uh, So when the restricted exhibit hall, when the restricted hall comes in, if I remember correctly, the hunting horror goes there. So we would have to evade him twice. Then we need to grab two clues, I think. Yeah, I just, I don't like the odds of this at all. Um, I think we're going to leave. So let's go.
If we can evade the hunting horror, spend our clue, see what we get. Uh, but that would leave us with only one action. But then we'd have to kill Duke. So even if we get the restricted hall, we're in we're in rough shape. Or we play La Branche. Or we play La Branche, uh, which gives us a little bit of breathing room. Okay, let's give it a try. Uh, we'll take an action. Yeah, I can't investigate when he's there anyway. That's why I'm I'm hesitant to try to pull it at this point. Okay, so if I evade, if I drop Labranche, she gets me a resource back. Uh yeah, let's let's keep going for them for the time being. Uh let's try to evade this guy. We'll spend two resources, so we're gonna go five versus three. Chaos bag says zero. So he is evaded. Let's play Lebranche. Gives us a little bit of Horror and sanity, down, health and sanity to work with. Labranche gets us a resource. Now we can spend our clue to pull the hall. So next turn, if I evade. Duke in, uh, the hunting horror shows up, I still have an opportunity to evade him, but I need to, I need to pull the hunting horror away. Uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Enemy phase, we have to see what happens. Uh, we get the auto fail. I believe that readies this sucker. Yep. So, yeah, more uh, more bad luck. So Lebranche takes the hit for us, and we go to upkeep. We draw a take heart. Failing skill tests is not what we want to be uh, doing right now. Mythos phase, we draw ephemeral exhibits, test three, intellect. For each point we fail by, we lose an action. So we are going to go two versus three. I think we're going to fail this. But take heart, uh, we are going to go minus one so we lose two actions ah, I just received a, mo a notice that my where gods await is shipping so awesome uh, so we fail by two so we lose two actions but we do gain two resources and two cards we get a winging it and an improvised weapon. I feel like I have not played very well this game at all. Uh, so all we can really do is evade the hunting horror. And I think he gets bigger next turn. He does get bigger next turn because we're going to add another he's going to be a four evade well 
will go three, four, five versus three. We get another zero, so he is evaded. But that's all we can do this turn. Enemy phase, we get an elder sign, so he does not ready for a change. Unfortunately, he will ready anyway during the upkeep. And we are going to advance this turn. Seven of seven. So each investigator who has not resigned, what? What's going on here? How come it pulled that out? Weird. Okay, you go back. All right, so if Hunting Horror is in play, add a Doom to it. And the text on this one is active. Uh, he has not entered play, so we're not adding a resource to Shadow Spawned. Played Where the Gods Dwell earlier this week. It's a real tough scenario. Oh, great. Great! Did you say his name? Juicy? Or were you able to uh, to come up with a new enough euphemism, euphemisms for uh, Nyarlathotep that you didn't have to say his name? That's going to be pretty tough when I play that on stream. I draw a card... I draw the card. Uh, we have to draw an encounter card. We get Slithering behind you. If the Hunting Horror is in play, add a Doom to it. Okay. And... That's it. Okay, sure. Well, I think it's time to go. Uh, he is a... Uh, we have been spinning our wheels here. All game, it seems. So we are going to Juicy says, No, I don't talk to myself as I was playing two handed solo. <clears throat> well, that's good. That would be, uh, that would be a, a pretty uh, bad way to lose the game. It's f far worse than saying Haster, that's for sure. So the Hunting Horror, if we evade him, move, and resign, we can get out of here. And Because uh, as soon as we hit that exhibit hall, the, the Hunting Horror is coming back. Yeah, that's true. He does have he has many many aliases, so uh, I forget how many like this it's a one in three chance. It's not very good. So let's evade this guy. Let's throw everything we've got into this evade. Cause we're leaving. Uh so we are gonna go three, four, five, six, seven versus three. Chaos Bag says minus two, so we succeed. So he is evaded. We will move and we will resign. So not, not a great uh, run through the Miskatonic Museum. Um, probably one of the worst runs I've had in a long time through this particular scenario. The uh, the new cards certainly made it uh, much more challenging. The uh, adding that, uh, adding Shadow Spawned and then drawing that card that, uh, hi David, welcome to the stream, glad you could make it. 
Uh, adding that to Shadow Spawn and then adding that card that adds the resource to Shadow Spawn made the uh, Hunting Horror much more difficult. We got attacked four times at least, which is a lot uh, by this guy. We basically we end up with one VP and um, and a tablet out of the deal, plus whatever bad stuff happens because we uh, we failed the scenario. Which is, uh, do we have to add another tablet? No, we just fail to recover the Necronomicon. So we earn one experience point and fail to recover the Necronomicon. So not, uh, not good. Not good. So let's play Essex, see if that goes a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I think in this game, the, the real difference here was we, we needed Duke plus... This, is all, this scenario is all about investigation, and uh, we needed Duke plus a, a magnifying glass and arcane studies to really be able to get these clues quickly and uh, move, and we just didn't do that. And so we... Uh, we got stalled, we ended up trying to find some clues, and uh, just didn't. We've got uh, two tablets and one elder thing at this point. But no trauma, so uh, that is, I guess, a uh, uh, positive. I will go and update the deck here quickly while I'm doing this. So we will. Uh, so we can get ready now. I haven't played Essex, and I know Essex has uh, has some different stuff going on in it as well. So. Uh, so we have two tablets now because we lost our security guard, and we will go from there. Alright, deck is updated. Let us reset and see if we can't... Uh, whoops, that's the wrong window to uh, expand. Uh, Alright, so we are going to reset and we will set up for Essex. Let's see if we can't do a little bit better this time around. Okay. And we will load SX and set that up. Now I believe we have another... So we've got the engineer and we've got another engine car as part of this. I think we have a different agenda as well, agenda 0A. And a bunch of train cars, so let's uh, see what the setup instructions are for this. Yeah, I, I've had some. I've done pretty well at Essex over the over the years. It's never been. Uh, I mean, it really depends how quickly you can. If you're a good investigator, then you can just fly through it. But uh, remove Agenda One A, a tear in reality from the game, and replace it with Agenda Zero A, and the new Agenda, a tear in reality V two. 
Okay, when choosing six train car locations to put into play at random, include the two new train car locations for possible of 10. Okay, so we've got our 10 train cars. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, and six. We will be starting over here. We are starting at the dining car. And we ignore the forced effect, I believe, if I'm if I remember correctly, so we don't have to uh, Yeah, the if the forced effect triggers we ignore it. Uh, oh, we've got to add a token, too. Uh, we're adding a minus three. Uh, let's add a minus three while I remember. Okay, and... So, put one of the engine cars into play. Yeah, it says in the in, in in the instructions. Reveal the leftmost train car. Each investigator begins play at that location. If that location has a forced effect that triggers upon entering that location, ignore it. So we ignore the uh, we ignore this. We don't have to grab a a nasty uh, grappling horror right off the bat. That would be uh, hardcore. Uh, we also need. A we want we need an engine car, okay. Shuffle those up. We will grab an engine. There we go. Looks like we're set. Let's take another quick peek. We have done that. We put an engine car, we've got six train cars, we've revealed it, we don't have a cross space in time, we added a minus three, we shuffle the encounter deck and we are ready to go. No, I, I understand that. Jan, but the the setup instructions for the scenario tell you if it has a forced effect that triggers upon entering that location, ignore it. Oh, because it's a re you're saying because it's a reveal. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, well, I guess we are starting with a grappling horror in play. That will be interesting. Uh, where is a grappling horror? So we start with a an enemy. That will be interesting. Indeed. move this down okay so we're starting hardcore we've got a, uh, a grappling horror to deal with hi Chad welcome to the stream glad you could make it uh, I don't think we do anything with the engineer set the set aside engineer story asset aside okay so he just hangs out and I think we're ready to go. All right, let's draw an opening hand. Hopefully we get something better than the last time. And uh, we get Cherish Keepsake Track Shoes, 
Take heart, Madame La Branche, and live and learn. I'm going to keep Madame. I don't think the track shoes are going to be all that helpful this time. I guess for the monstrous... Hi, Mugon. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm hoping to. I'm hoping so too. If you watch the uh, the Miskatonic Museum, I got roughed up in that one a little bit. So hopefully this one will go better. I got to keep the track shoes. I can't throw track shoes away because if there's, I believe those monstrosities. Track shoes give me a plus one evade too, which I'm going to need. So we will add three cards. There's a lucky. A glimmer and a last chance. So no help in the investigation department again. But we have no clue to worry about here. We just need to evade this guy. So let's get started. All right, so we are going to need to evade this guy. Uh, let's go, thank you very much, Mugon. We are going three versus two. Chaos Bag says auto fail for the first one. Nothing we can do about that, but uh, not a great start. Uh, we go again, a skull, that is a minus X, which is the agenda number, which is zero. So we uh, we evade the uh, the grappling horror. Yeah, at least he doesn't ready like the uh, like the other one does. So we get to the baggage car. Uh, actually, we can duke into the baggage car, and that gives us a three shroud location with three clues. Uh, choose and discard a card from your hand. Discover one clue at the baggage car. So we are duking in. We are going four versus three. Let's go five versus three. Chaos bag says minus one, so we grab a clue. We draw an improvised weapon and we go to our first mythos phase which is going to be another grappling horror well isn't this oh it cannot be investigated okay I need to read the cards better here so we duke in and nothing happens yeah so we duke in nothing happens um, I'll take my glimmer back uh, welcome to the stream, Jason. Glad you could make it. Uh, so we we move in. We can't investigate with Duke, so nothing happens there. And then we draw yet another grappling horror. So now we've got two of these bastards chasing us for this game. Uh, we might need to kill them. Uh, unfortunately, well, we've got an. We'll see what we can do here. Uh, we've got three, so we're going to take, uh, if we have Duke, we go four versus three. Four versus three, five versus three. Six versus three for two damage. Chaos bag gives us a zero for two damage. Let's pitch an improvised weapon to ready Duke. And do that again. So we'll go four versus three. We've got a lucky. So let's go four versus three. Chaos bag gives us a skull. That's a zero. So that actually, uh, that worked out very nicely. So the grappling horror is dead. We have one action remaining. 
we might as well choose and discard a card so we can get uh, so we can get one of these clues. The grappling horror moves in and attacks us for one and one. We get a leather coat. Uh, no, actually, uh, if you resign with, uh, I believe if you resign with the security guard in your hand, you still take the ta in play, you still take the tablet. Yeah, if you if you've got Adam in your in your play area and you resign, you still take the tablet. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, Robert. So we go to the next mythos phase. Hopefully no more enemies. We get an infinite doorway attached to your location as an additional cost to move into or out of attached location. Discard the top card of your deck. If the discarded card is a weakness, draw it. Otherwise, for each copy of the discarded card in your hand or play area, you must either take a horror or discard that card. Do I have a favorite class of investigator? Uh, I like guardians and survivors. I like them all. I like... Uh, I play quite a bit of survivor. I play quite a bit of guardian. Uh, I don't play seeker as much. Hi, Peter. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Congratulations on uh, picking up the uh, the Circle Undone box last week. Um, yeah, I don't play, and I haven't been playing rogues a ton, but I've been playing Jenny a lot lately, so I tend to jump around quite a bit. I don't really have a favorite class, per se. I like pretty much all of them for different reasons. So we have another one of these things to kill. So we still have the lucky. So we'll go Duke versus the Grappling Horror. Four versus three. Chaos Bag says plus one. So after a rough start, the Chaos Bag is giving us a bit of a hand. Uh, let's pitch... Um, I don't think the track shoes are going to be helpful. Uh, let's ready Duke. Let's go four versus three again. Chaos Bag gives us a tablet. That's a minus two. Add one Doom token to the nearest cultist enemy. There are no cultist enemies, but we have a lucky, so we will succeed anyway and kill this thing. Then we will... we have one action remaining. Uh, let's grab another clue. Uh, we need to discard something. Let's discard the leather coat to grab a clue. Uh, yes, you're right. The agenda should have advanced. I'm uh... so we get this guy. Uh, the conductor, leftmost location, hunter, massive. So he shows up. Hi, Joe. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I think it's probably Innsmouth Conspiracy. I don't think there will be uh, another new product. They're all re they've already got Return to the Forgotten Age, Barkham Horror, uh, coming out in addition. And we know Innsmouth Conspiracy is coming, so I expect that to be the... Uh, I expect that to be the next, uh, the next uh, product. So the Conductor spawns at the leftmost location hunter massive when the conductor is defeated attach it to the current agenda after you advance the attached agenda draw the conductor when the conductor's location leaves play instead of discarding the conductor move it one location to the right so this guy is going to be a pain in the butt 
where were we in the uh, in the yeah we grabbed a clue so yeah that would have advanced this turn so he's going to attack us this turn but we did grab a clue yeah this is a, a really bad setup here with the the dining car baggage car set up Hi, Alexander. A new type of product. Oh, well. Well, who knows? Um, yeah, you've... Uh, new type of product. Maybe some sort of player card expansion? Maybe a player card expansion of some kind? Like, I mean, they do a lot of those player card expansions. They've done them for all the other games, like... Uh, Game of Thrones and uh, uh, like uh, Legend of the Five Rings and stuff like that gets additional player card uh, things for each different type of class. So they could potentially put out some sort of player product that has like, say, Guardian cards or Seeker cards or Survivor cards or something like that. Like a the majority of the cards would be maybe Guardian and then plus a smattering of cards for uh, for the other classes, but uh, I can't really think of what other new type of product they they would have for this game. So we get attacked by the conductor. Uh, he's massive, so he's just going to hang out. But he hits us for two damage and a horror. So we are going to have to evade this guy or kill him. Wow, we are just going slow as molasses here. Yeah, uh, Mugan says uh, alternate art like convention promos are miniatures, signature spell book like collections with staples for certain classes. Yeah, I suspect it's probably additional player cards. But uh, who knows? I mean, uh, we, we didn't see Barkham Horror coming, so uh, who knows what this thing could be. Um, so we took two damage and a horror. And we go on to the upkeep. We draw Live and Learn. We add a Doom. And we draw our first Helpless Passenger. Uh, he goes at the leftmost location and surges into idle hands. Put idle hands in your threat area. Fast action. If idle hands is in your threat area, during your turn take two damage and discard idle hands. You may take a, an additional action this turn. Wow, that's nasty. Or at the end of your turn, take a horror. Wow. Um, well, we can't afford to take a ton of horror, that's for sure. But we need to get rid of this conductor, and we need to grab this clue so we can get out of here. Um, so, I think what we do... An additional action would give us... We could potentially get uh, well I think we need to get we can't take the horror so let's get rid of idle hands so we're gonna have four actions this turn anything else about this guy yeah he's we're just gonna take horror from that guy we can't really do anything about him at the moment. Uh, let's attack the conductor with Duke. Duke is going to attack the spirit. Uh, we are going four versus three. Let's throw... Uh, let's throw the last chance. So we're gonna go seven versus three. Chaos Bag gives us a tablet. That is a minus two. So we succeed. Uh, 
he takes two damage. And I guess we'll go, he doesn't have retaliate and we've got the live and learn. So let's just, uh, uh, oh, we gotta throw LaBranche though, that's bad. But we gotta kill this, we gotta kill this thing. So we ready Duke, we attack the conductor again. We are going four versus three, uh, five versus three, six versus three, chaos bag says minus two. So we kill the conductor, attach it to the current agenda. We draw the conductor. Okay, so he's definitely coming back. Um, so an additional cost to move into or out of attached location, discard the top card of your deck. Okay, so we need to grab this card. So we discard a card to grab a final clue and then we can move to the next car, but we've got to discard a card from the top of our deck, which is a fight or flight. I don't believe we have any of those in our discard pile. We do not. Uh, yes, I need to take two damage. Uh, do that. And so we move in here. We are on the freight car. I believe this is new as well. Uh, freight car is connected. At the end of the round, each investigator on the freight car tests one, tests one agility. Each investigator who fails must test one agility again. Each investigator fails. The second test is pulled into the vortex above and is defeated. Well, that's nice. Uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. That's just a, a game over right there. So we go to the enemy phase, nothing happens. We go to upkeep, we draw a, an overpower. Now we're going to advance, and when we draw... So let's take this thing by thing. So we advance the agenda. So remove the leftmost location from the game. And we discard all clues. So leftmost location goes. We take a horror because of our friend the helpless passenger. And then when the conductor is defeated, when the conductor uh, attach it to the current agenda. After you advance the agenda, draw the conductor. So he shows up here. So he's back. Wow, that's a that is bad news. Um, and we discard all clues. So we go to the mall widens. And we draw an encounter card, which is Claws of Steam, test three willpower. If you fail, take two damage, and you cannot move from this location. Oh, wow. Uh, we have nothing we can commit to that. We're just going four versus three. Hi, Tim. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Yeah, this is, uh, we're getting chewed up here in all of these scenarios at the moment. Test three willpower. If you fail, take two damage, and you cannot move from your location damage must be applied to assets first. So this would kill Duke, which would pretty much uh, test three. So we're going four versus three. Chaos bag says minus three. So that is a failure. So we can't move from this location this round and damage from this effect must be assigned to assets first. So poor Duke dies. We're only on the third location of the game. So Duke is dead. We cannot move, and we're going to take... Uh, sorry, I missed something. 
I have to go back here. I need to test one agility first. Uh, I didn't have anything to add to that either. So it's three versus one. We draw a tablet, which is a minus two. So we succeed on that. So we don't die to the freight car, but we are going to die to Claws of Steam. So we've lost Duke. Uh, we're gonna, we can't move. We're gonna see the conductor and we're gonna take an agility test at the end of this turn. Yeah, this is a train wreck, uh, Robert, that's for sure. Not much I can do at this point. Not much I can do. Uh, losing Duke is... Uh, losing Duke and having no way of investigating is basically uh, game over at this point. So all I can do is investigate or draw cards... Uh, but the conductor kills us next turn anyway. Yeah, we're dead. Just like that. Nice combo, encounter deck. Nice combo. So yeah, we, uh, a clause of steam locks us at the freight car, and then, uh, the conductor kills us this turn so the best we can do is just try to investigate there's no there's not even any victory points here so uh, we'll go two versus one we get a plus one wow we grabbed a clue believe it or not uh, let's try it again two versus one that is a minus three and if you fail choose and discard a card from your hand and last time Minus two, we fail. Enemy phase, the conductor moves to our location and deals us two damage and we die. Well, that was fun. That's probably my worst run through Essex County in, in uh, a many, uh, many a playthrough. So yeah, we die on the third Third location, the uh, encounter deck uh, combos us with the uh, Claws of Steam that kills Duke, and then the Conductor kills us the following round. Not a great playthrough. We're going to take a physical trauma, and we are going to um, add that weakness to our deck. So what does this thing do? Discard top three cards of the deck. So yes. Yeah, Slayton... Uh, yeah, the first two train cars really set us up for drawing, having, drawing that uh, grappling horror, drawing a second grappling horror, and then hitting this car where we can't investigate uh, just having to discard cards that just that uh, shut us down and we just weren't far enough ahead of the conductor I think if you were if you were able to get a couple more locations ahead of the conductor you'd probably be okay but yeah we just weren't far enough ahead and uh, we just don't have the health to take that that kind of damage so that will uh, that will end our uh, that will end. So in two games, we've earned one VP and a physical trauma. So not a great. Uh, do we get a, a VP as a uh, as a, a bonus? We do. We get a uh, we get the weakness. We get a bonus VP because the game takes pity on us. So we have two. And. We don't have the Necronomicon. Um, an investigator with the Dr. Armitage, Warren Rice, or Francis Morgan card in his deck was defeated in your campaign log. Record the character in question was kidnapped. So we lose Professor Warren Rice as well. 
And I think we're late for the party. Yeah, we're delayed on our way to Dunwich. Yeah, Juicy, the uh, the encounter deck uh, decided to do the deed this uh, this time around, not the uh, uh, yeah difficult. Uh, it is difficult, Bernard. The uh, uh, my first two locations were not pleasant, and uh, things just got worse from there. Uh, so we are going to be delayed on our return to as we get to uh, when we get to. Uh, blood on the altar so I think I yeah two scenarios just like that um, I think I'll call it there and uh, we will be back next time so how does that work out blood played the first two so if we play blood undimensioned yeah so we can do two more we can do, uh, if we do uh, Blood and Undimensioned one week, and then we uh, do uh, one stream, and then do uh, Where Doom Awaits, maybe, and uh, Lost in Time and Space, we can finish this off. So I think I'm going to call it there. Not a great start here for uh, for good old Ashcan. We did pretty well in the first two scenarios, and then uh, nothing but pain in uh, the Miskatonic Museum and... Uh, and uh, Essex County Express, but we uh, tomorrow is always another day. Hopefully, we will do better. Uh, stay tuned on Monday. Uh, I'm not sure what day that is. I will uh, the ninth Monday, March 9th, I will be uh, I will be streaming. I believe. Uh, uh, Nate, Lost in Time and Space, Winslow, and I are going to be pl continuing our campaign through the Return to the Path to Carcosa. I believe Echoes of the Past is up next, so if you are interested in that campaign, uh, drop in uh, on Monday. That's what we will be playing. Uh, we'd love to. Sorry, we'd love to see you there. And. Uh, what else do we have? I will be back. Uh, yeah, next week with another stream. Uh, we will be streaming Blood on the Altar and or um, Undimensioned and Unseen. And uh, I have not shipped the uh, Circle Undone box yet. I will be uh, shipping it uh, this week, Peter. So uh, it should... Uh, usually things take uh, get to uh, Europe pretty quickly. So uh, you should have it uh, shortly. So, yes, we will be back Monday. Uh, Nate and I will be streaming Return to the Path to Carcosa. I will be back next Friday for sure. Uh, same time, it'll be uh, noon Eastern time. Uh, and then uh, I will be probably be back Friday streaming as well. I'm busy also working on my reviews, trying to get catch, caught up on my card reviews, but uh, it's tough. I'm busy taking a, a course as well in addition to everything else that's going on in my life right now. So I'm trying to, uh, uh, once the course is done, then, uh, then I will be free and I can uh, do more stuff, which is uh, always nice. But uh, thank you very much, everyone, for, for coming out today. It's always great to have you uh, in the stream, keeping me honest. Uh, it can be uh, pretty tricky sometimes balancing between chat and the game and whatnot. So it's great to have you have you there to, uh, to remind me of, uh, of uh, things that I may have missed. And I hope that uh, you will come back Monday for uh, Return to the Path to Carcosa. Until then, I will. Uh, I hope you guys have a a fantastic weekend, and uh, that the uh, chaos bag treats you better than it treats me. So uh, uh, I hope any games you play will uh, will go very well for you. So uh, I will see you next time. That's gonna do it for this stream. If you uh, enjoy what you hear. Uh, if you enjoy what you hear, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to become a patron of the channel, head over to patreon.com, sign up for a tier of your choice, and claim your rewards. That would be uh, fantastic. And uh, if you need to contact me, I can be reached at manfromlang at gmail.com. I'm also on Twitter at manfromlang. Until the stars are right, keep your shotgun close and your elder sign closer. Take care out there, and happy investigating.